This is a quick review of the MFJ841 2 meter handheld SWR and watt meter. Um, I just learned how to use this thing. I had a discrepancy. I did not understand the directions. And I've explained that at tech-tut.com. The link is in the description. Um, I'll also explain it here. But they have a BNC connector for your transmitter input. This is your switch for sensitivity, SWR, and power. Oh, I also want to apologize. My cell phone does not do good video. So maybe one day I'll get a good camera that I can edit video and all that whatnot and everything and all. Um, this is your SWR sensitivity potentiometer. And this is your BNC for your antenna out. Now we'll flip this around. On the other side is your meter. And I have it set to the sensitivity first. Let's see if we can get this to stand up and act right while we do this. And I'm going to key up on a simplex channel where I've been listening for quite some time. Nobody's talked. And we'll see that the sensitivity for what full deflection at the manufacturer is to the end of the scale. If the meter extends past the scale, your SWR reading is going to be way off. Um, if it's before the end, it'll be way off. So set it to the end, and you'll see as soon as I key up that it goes to about right there. KK4FGM, testing, testing. All right, so we see that I have the SWR set for the end of this scale, and I set it before starting this video because I don't have enough hands to transmit and and all that. Turn knobs. All right, so we're going to switch down to the SWR, and we'll see that I expect about a 1.025 SWR to 1. Uh, so we're going to transmit and see now. KK4 FGM testing. And you can see that it moves just a smidgen, but not really enough to uh, really count towards anything. KK4 FGM testing. It's about a 1.05 to 1 SWR. We can switch to my local repeater, which is setting 16. Uh, let's go to one that's higher on the band. This is 147.6 transmit frequency. And uh, KK4 FGM testing. That's about a 1.15. SWR. This is 147.885 and I can't hit any of these repeaters on 5 watts. It just won't happen. I have so much loss in my um, 75 feet of cheap RG58 uh, coax cable that probably only have 2 watts coming off of the uh, actual antenna. Um, this is 147.885 KK4 FGM testing. KK4 FGM testing. That's a definite 1.2. Um, I may not, in the time allotted for me to dial, pull up another frequency that's higher than that. That's 147.885. Did I just do that one? I can't even remember. KK4 FGM testing. This is the W4C. Oh. Oh, it's getting late. Um, let's see. I think that's a... Here we go. 147.960. That's almost to the end of the 2 meter scale uh, band. KK4 FGM testing. And that's 1.25 to 1.3 standing wave ratio. That's 1 and that's a 1.5 right there. And then it's 2 and 3, and then it shoots on over to infinity, pretty much. If it gets in the red, your antenna's not good. Um, the final thing is we can go down to the power and see that I'm transmitting with 5 watts. It should go full deflection. Um, problem is... KK4 FGM testing. So it went to about four and a half watts. I didn't my 
um, plug was a little loose, I think. It didn't work right away. So that is the MFJ841. Um, the last thing, this really isn't much of a big deal, is that inside this little hole, if you do find that the uh, there's just no way that we can look in there, there's the little potentiometer. I think it's a 500K. And that is used to set the power level in case it, le it it's not in calibration. You can use a known 2 meter source. And uh, there it is. It's the blue. There's the, the white. You can use that to set the, uh, the scale to make sure it's correct. And that is the MFJ841. That's my experience. I found that setting the sensitivity so that it doesn't extend on past this, uh, this scale. So here's what happens if you turn it all the way up. It just shoots right on by. KK4 FGM testing. And that's not good. And you can also set it to, uh, see, we'll go to low power. It's, we better not, we better go to medium. Low power on this is a half watt, and this meter goes kind of flakeville on us. KK4 FGM testing. And I guess we can go low. Let's see. KK4 FGM testing. And that's the sensitivity is turned all the way up. And let's see what our SWR rate uh, setting is. KK4 FGM testing. And you can see that th the lower you go on the power, it gets a little bit off. But all in all, this is a pretty nice $50 SWR meter. It's helped me out to make sure that transmitting on my antenna won't damage my transmitter with too much reflected power. If you have any questions, I'm Robbie at tech-tut.com. Thank you for viewing, and if you have any questions, you can email me um, at Robbie at tech-tut.com. You can visit the website and leave a comment on the, uh, the link, or you can leave a comment here on YouTube. Thank you for viewing, and I hope everyone has a good evening, and I hope that this has helped everyone out that needs help or gives you the information that you're looking for.